simulation technology experience within the next generation is going to be so integrated into the way we learn that you in many ways will take it for granted much as we now take the internet for granted. Uh, 15 or 20 years ago if we'd been discussing the internet people would have thought about it in much the same way perhaps if it had uh, come online in their lives about that time just about the same way that they probably think about simulation technology now and that it is simply used for military training. Uh, they will find out very quickly because of the way this whole industry is snowballing that they're going to be learning in simulated environments wherever they are and whatever they're doing. ITSEC represents government, academia, industry, research organizations. This year is the largest one. Every year it gets bigger and bigger, which is testimony to the way the industry is growing and the importance of simulation technology training and how it's going into all aspects of human learning. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Industry participation is getting larger and larger because there's a realization, first of all, that this technology can be shared among industries for the good of everybody, not just in terms of a raw business arrangement, which of course is very important to the people that are here on the floor, but also in terms of advancing the technology for everybody. So you get a synergy here between the smaller corporations, the niche corporations, if you will, and the, and the big corporations who are looking for these specialties to incorporate in some of the larger projects, some of the larger projects they're integrating together and doing. You see evidence of this all over the floor. It has gone from very sophisticated cockpit training now, which was actually in existence about 15 or so years ago, and of course has gotten even better, to other platform training where you have man-machine interfaces, and now to virtual and combined training where you have training of squadrons of aircraft linked with each other in a simulated environment operationally. So now you're not even using one aircraft, you're, you're saving an entire squadron wear and tear on a full squadron. That's very important when airframes are getting older these days. Um, so this technology is now increasingly replacing, because it's getting so good at replicating real world environments, it's increasingly replacing the need to have wear and tear and actually danger in terms of some cases uh, with, with training. Because again, you can, uh, you can do simulations scenarios you would never want to encounter in the real world uh, and put people through those over and over again until their responses to those very dangerous situations become almost, almost intuitive and so you can think your way out of it. Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly and fun to own. The jet for you. Money is saved in any number of different ways. We're not building training platforms, real world training platforms anymore. We're building simulators, which is multiple of times cheaper than building the actual platform. We're putting people through training exercises over and over again, very fast, very effectively, whereas to do that in real world situations would require days or weeks of, of intensive training, expenditure of material and, and man hours and this sort of thing. And because it's getting so good and it's going in so many other directions, you can do this in many other areas now that you never could do before. The other thing, and even more important, of course, is the life-saving technology aspects of this. There's an infinite variety of possibilities that you can train for. So you can even throw in the unexpected, uh, and, and that, is, that is a vital characteristic of this. That replicates the worst, your worst nightmare, shall we say, in real life. It teaches you how to wake up alive, if you will. All nations are welcome here, by the way. We're, we're not working just with our allies on this technology. Uh, cooperation is very close among the NATO allies, of course, and NATO is one of the presences here. Uh, because the technology is being shared internationally, because it's being developed internationally, and, and because there are international synergies, and this is just going to continue and get larger and larger. The international component of, of this event is the largest growing group of registrants at, at this event. 
as a matter of fact. And this, uh, this has been a trend that's occurred for the last several years and we expect it to, to continue. It is, it is an international simulation event.